few weeks ago, I wanted to learn how to get my website listed as a citation source on Bing AI result. So, I asked Bing AI about the criteria that it uses when citing a website, and the result amazed me. AI is pending. Hello everyone and welcome to AI Pending, where we explore and utilize the power of AI. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And let me quickly fill you in on what's been happening. Four months ago, I launched an affiliate marketing website based in Nigeria with ChatGPT's help. And it has been performing really well with over 11,000 organic monthly visits at the time of recording this video. Today, I will share with you some of the techniques I have used to optimize my content for AI search and get listed as a citation source. If I go to Bing AI and type in iPhone 6 Plus Price Nigeria, you can see that my website is cited first, pricehub.ng, even though I'm not ranking first for the keyword. I can demonstrate this by searching for the keyword on Bing. As you can see, my website is not ranking first or even on the first page. How cool is that? There is no doubt about AI charts replacing traditional search. And it is already happening. Take a moment to reflect on the past couple of weeks since ChatGPT's release. How many times have you used Google to search for specific information instead of asking ChatGPT? For me, I still use Google search here and there, but mostly ChatGPT though. Let's get back into this video. As I mentioned earlier, my journey to discover Bing's AI secret for suggesting websites to reference began a few weeks ago when I simply asked Bing AI how it chooses which websites to reference. And this was the response that I received. I will include a full list in the description. I will also test out one or two text to speech voices to read the first three points. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I use some criteria to evaluate the quality and relevance of the websites before I suggest them. Some of the criteria are the objectivity and balance of the website. I analyze how fair and impartial the website is on its topic. I also consider if the website acknowledges different perspectives or opinions on its topic. I steer clear of websites that have hidden agendas, conflicts of interest, or propaganda. The accuracy and reliability of the information on the website. I check if the information is supported by evidence, references, or sources that can be verified. I also look for signs of bias, errors, or outdated information. The coverage and scope of the website. I assess how comprehensive and in-depth the website is on its topic. I also compare it with other websites on the same topic and see how it adds value or uniqueness. I'd like to know your opinion about those voices. I've got a video coming soon that shows you how to make a faceless YouTube video using text-to-speech voices. Stay tuned for that. So, based on the information that I have gathered, I choose one of the keywords on my website and optimized it based on these recommendations. And it actually worked. I think the biggest takeaway is to dominate whichever topic that you're covering. And you can do this by asking ChatGPT or GPT-4 to create a keyword cluster for a specific keyword. With these clusters, you can either create individual topics or cover the entire topic in a single post if it aligns with your content. I will leave the prompt in the description for you guys to check out. If you find this video useful and helpful, please like and comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Pending. 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 AI is pending.